guys what's up in this video i quickly want to talk about this new plugin that i've introduced which is called prototype connector what it basically just allows you to do it allows you to easily connect multiple frames or variants together in seconds and i've checked out a bunch of different plugins some of them definitely did offer the ability to connect multiple frames in seconds but it did not allow you to choose different properties and it did not work on variants as well so what this plugin does is it instead of people manually going ahead and selecting a frame and then connecting it and then i go ahead and connect another one and stuff along those lines i mean that's a lot of work especially if you're building out animations like me or creating out videos for twitter so what you can do now is you can just open this prototype connector plugin you can select all of the frames that you want to connect. One of these other plugins or some of these other plugins actually did not offer the ability to actually have the prototyping order defined as well. So I have four orders here. By default, as you can see, the order is three, two, one, eight, four, five, six, whatever it is. It's actually flowing uh, from the page order, which is three to seven. So that's what's happening here. Uh, and the reason for that is when you actually create a frame, let's say I'm creating one here and I duplicate it and I duplicate it again and I duplicate it again. Now, as you can see, this is actually flowing from bottom to top. So if I have to connect these frames, I have to connect them in the page order reversed pro uh, way, which is why I have this as a default. If a person wants to connect these different frames in, let's say, the page order, they can do that as well. The frames that you select are actually listed out here as well and it shows you how that order is actually going to be connected. So I can say it's going to be on based on the page order. So then it's going to follow the top to bottom order. I can even say that it's going to be based on the layer names like layer one, frame one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or layer names reversed and it's going to help me do that as well. For now, I just want to do page order reversed. Then I, since this is a looping animation, I also want to say I want to loop back to the first frame. Then I have my trigger type. Mostly these animations are done using after delay. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to go ahead and insert the delay duration to zero. And then I have the animation type, which is smart animate. I was thinking whether to add actually the easing as well, apart from the duration, but I've, for now I've just omitted it. But if you guys think that that option should be in there as well, I can definitely think about adding that. And then you click on prototype this, and that's pretty much what you need to actually go ahead and create a functional prototype of this particular animation. Now, as you can see, that beautiful animation is directly here, and we can see the whole thing by zooming in, zooming out. The other capability that this particular plugin offers is actually uh, connecting multiple variants together. Now, a lot of plugins that were there in the plugin marketplace did not allow us to connect multiple component variants. So now this plugin can allow you to do that too. So I'm just going to go to the prototype connector. Let's just open this page as well really quickly so you can see that this is not connected by default. So as you can see, this is the button and we're just going to go ahead and select all of the variants of this button page order reversed that's perfectly fine variant one two three four five six and then we want to loop it back we want to do an after delay again the delay duration can be zero maybe the animation duration can be slightly higher like 500 this time and let's prototype it so once that's done i can just directly go to my prototyping view and there you go we have our animated glowing button and again you can start using this plugin right away. This is the particular, I'm actually going to add a link to this particular plugin as well. You can get this free button in there as well. You can get this free animation. Obviously that's not the most useful thing. The most useful is the plugin itself. So definitely go ahead and do check it out.